everyone. Today we're going to make mozzarella and basil bread. I have two cups of warm water. You're going to need about four cups of bread flour. Um, just remember you also need some, you may need some extra while you're kneading. Then I've got one cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. If you have fresh basil, you're going to want about three tablespoons, um, and then I'll cut that up right before I put it in. If you don't have any fresh basil, um, feel free to use about one tablespoon of dried basil. Then I have one teaspoon of garlic powder. I've got one tablespoon of dry yeast. I've got a quarter of a cup milk. Then you're going to want one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and then eventually we're going to want to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Alright, and one little trick is I like to do is when I'm actually dealing with yeast, I want to make sure that I warm up my bowl a little bit. So I put that in the microwave for about 20 seconds. And we're going to take our warm water. And then we're just going to pour in our sugar. And you're just going to want to stir this until it's mostly dissolved. And then all you're going to do is you're going to sprinkle on your yeast. You're going to mix this in, and then you're just going to let this sit for a few minutes. And you'll notice that it'll kind of start to bubble up a little bit, or look like there's almost like a creamy layer on the top of your water. The next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add in our salt, and then about one cup of our flour. And then you just want to mix this all together. Alright, then we're going to take about one more cup of flour and add that in. And you're also going to add in your milk, your shredded mozzarella, your garlic powder, and your basil. And then you just want to mix this together. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to take, um, and you're going to slowly add in your flour about a half cup at a time until you've mixed in all four of the cups. Now you're going to want to make sure that you've got a clean surface and then just make sure you put down some flour and then you're going to pour your dough out onto your floured surface and it is still going to be fairly sticky. And then just make sure you put a bit of flour on top. And at this point, I don't use the bread flour anymore. I just use all-purpose flour. And then you're just going to kind of slowly knead this all together. And you will have to keep adding flour to it. All right. As you can see, this is firmed up nicely. It doesn't say. So you just have to adjust each um, batch on the amount of flour. And then you're going to kind of just put it so that it's into a nice ball. And then I've got my bowl here greased, and you're just going to put that into your bowl. Then you're just going to take it and you're going to cover it with a cloth um, and put it someplace warm. You're going to want to let it rise for it until it's doubled, which will usually take about an hour. All right, now that this is pretty much doubled, you're just going to punch it down, try to get out your air bubbles. And you just want to put this onto a floured surface and then knead it for about a minute or so. Alright, 
once you've kneaded that, then what you're going to do is you're just going to cut this in half. And then you're just going to form it into a nice little ball. And you'll do that to both of them. And just tuck it in underneath. Then I've got a baking sheet that I've sprayed with cooking spray. And then you're just going to put them both on there. And then just make, you can make an X or slashes or kind of whatever you want on the top. And then you're just going to um, cover these with a towel again and let them rise until they've doubled. Now that the loaves have doubled in size, all you're going to do is you're going to put them in your oven at 425 degrees and you're going to bake them for about 25 minutes. I just took the loaves out of the oven and if you want you can just take like a little bit of soft butter and put it on top just to make them glisten a little bit, but otherwise they're ready to serve, so hope you enjoy.